Mr. Hutter, very interesting theory. Hope somebody read your book in the decision maker and, and, and follow some of the good ideas uh, implementation we are pushing you on fast. Uh, we are end of our uh, discussion. I would like to ask you if there are any questions. Please make it short as we are running out of time. So one minute, please raise your hand. We will take in the first session three questions and followed by another three questions. Please. Hello. Uh, I'm very thankful to you, sir, Mr. Chairman and the student of the house, Mr. Peter. And we have been a good collaboration uh, with Universal Peace Federation. Sir, uh, as a student of Islamic theology, as a professor, uh, deliberately discuss much more good things, good discourses for the coming module understanding and coming future framework in uh, European integration. First of all, uh, these are the maybe suggestions or the questions whatsoever. I, whatever in my mind and the heart, in my heart, I can just present in, in front of you. So the being of the society, religious society, there is, I think so, there should be a humanity, humanitarian basis society. For example, in Europe and everywhere. So, uh, instead of, uh, I mean, we have to divide the uh, society under the education of the education. This is a part of the, your personal part. Your personal uh, cognition. I am a student at the uh, University of Ghana. Uh, I hope to finish my presentation also. So, so uh, the second thing is, uh, what are the obstacles to just remove those issues which are just problematic for, for integration for Muslims especially in Europe? And third is uh, Muslim and Europe and their integration and there should be a reciprocal understanding among, among the different communities. There should be a, a good coordination. Actually, I think so. There's a lack of misunderstanding, that lack of the uh, communication among the different uh, societies and different communities. So my question is that how to just develop a good commemoration among the different religions. And I have been already working with uh, HWLP Korea also. So thanks a lot. Thank you everyone. And thanks a lot for working with us. Thank you very much. Next question, please, as we are running out of time, the question should be very, very short and precise. No statement. Any other question? Please. Uh, the gentleman and then the lady with, with the red. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Tom Mirada. I'm professor of United Nations Law and member of the United Nations Studies Association. I have one question to uh, Professor Seydin. You said uh, that he, we are not sure about the European and even Austrian values, which come first and uh, uh, which are more important. I have a question. If we are not so sure about it, can you please name some rights that the Muslims and uh, non-Muslims in Europe can share and say that they have the priority over other rights? That's my first question. The second question is to uh, Magister uh, Labas. I was very impressed with the study, uh, maybe to study about the 23% drop in violent crime. Since I'm a criminologist by profession, uh, can you tell us more about uh, the methodology of the study? Very much. Uh, lady, right. Yes, thank you. My name is Ingrid Hosseda, and I have a question uh, to Professor Sedin um, about how how do you deal as a professor at the university with, um, polit with political Islam and uh, legalistic Islamism, which try to change the society according to Islamic uh, rules? Thank you very much.
much, uh, Mr. Sadini, Professor Sadini, you have wonderful people, five questions. Yes. Yeah. Most uh, wonderful person in this uh, house, please, floor is yours. Yeah, thank you for the questions. I will try to answer so that I can get all the questions. Of course, it's nice to have a basis like a human being, like humanity without dividing, but the reality is something else that people have. Um, they see themselves like uh, being German, Austrian, being Muslim, being something else. So I think that um, providing interfaith dialogue is to look at uh, the common ground for all these religions. So to make an argumentation with the theological arguments. It's possible, we heard about Sufism, there are many voices in the Islamic world and in another world there that, 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 that do, do they have this, they have this fundamentals uh, to make something, um, uh, to make this dialogue. But it's a reality that the people um, are divided in many categories, so we are trying, so I can make some, uh, uh, I could also speak about the project, but we have in Innsbruck, I also work in Innsbruck and in Vienna, we are working there in the uh, interdial, so with the Catholic theological faculty. We are trying to make that, what you said, a normality, that we are all human beings, but it's not enough to say it, because we are speaking about it, but we see that we have to do it in act, and to bring theological, as a theologian, theological argument, that this is not something against the religion, but it is a part of religion. Uh, to be different, but yet to be together and to share the same values. And that is an answer to a question I, I didn't want to say because it's difficult to me, I speak twice or three times in a year English, uh, to appropriate, to say that what I wanted to say. I just said uh, the Muslims are a chance for Europe because sometimes I see that we are talking in Europe about some European values and we think everybody shares these values. I don't mean Muslims, but all Europeans, but what is not true because in Europe is also very heterogeneous. We have people, if we say, for example, democracy is something European or Western, not everybody in Europe is for democracy. If we say human rights, not every European, because he is a European, he is automatically a Democrat or some, somebody who wants to do it. So I said, when the others come, then you can again think about these values and make the others be part of this values. And I think if I have to say something about what is common, there are many things that are common. Mostly things are common, but it's a time where people mostly think about the differences and not about what, what is common. We can have 99 things that are common and one difference and people will speak about the difference because it's interesting because it sells. Um, but the fundamental uh, thinking or about interfaith dialogue and common value is the human dignity of all of us. <coughs> that human dignity and then the human rights and we know what comes after that. So I think we share many common things but we have to work on it and to be louder, somebody said, the, the, the people who are more extreme, they are louder and they are more present than the people who think different, in, uh, who are for the peace, but we don't listen so much to the voice of these people. I mean, here we listen. <laughs> Political Islam, uh, how we deal with it in our study, of course we are trying to do many things. First of all, we are trying to, to separate between Islam and between politics. I don't want to say that religions are apolitical because then there is no religion. I mean, if the religious leader says, I don't care anything, let us just pray somewhere to come home. They did no written, nobody did it. Neither Jesus did it, nor Moses, nor uh, Muhammad did it in a way. So they have their opinion, but it's not politics as we think today, politics to build a state upon some uh, religious uh, scripts and, and, and to say that uh, we deal with it, we are trying to say, this is not something that Islam or the Islamic theology is asking for. And it was never in the history of Islam that we had always a ruler and somebody who was for the religious issues, Sheikh of Islam, and somebody who was for the, the responsible for the state. So this, uh, this political Islam, this issue is something, is, is a product of the modern time and not something what uh, many people want to, to, um, 
to, to know like something that is essential to Islam. That, that's what I said there. Because many people are trying to say that is something essential to Islam, so Islam can all just be like this and in no other way. But it's not true, and that's what we are discussing, but we are discussing it academically. And we are discussing it in our source to tell them that it's not something, it is a way of understanding Islam, like under, a way of understanding another religion, but it is not the Islam. It would be difficult. It is to make Islam like the Islam, one Islam, or, 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 or Christianity, or all this. But also I have to say that this term, political Islam, is in, in itself very problematic. And it's used because today, uh, when you say political Islam, we have some uh, definitions of what it is, but when we see how it is used today, everybody can be called like a political Islam. So it's used like political Islam and Islam. There is no difference between political Islam, but we are making this difference, so uh, we don't want to address all the Muslims. But if you see it a little bit deeper, every Muslim, every Islam is a little bit political. It's not true. <laughs> The term on itself is problematically, but if we talk about that, that people are trying to build the state on religious sources, then there is a problem for our society, and we are trying to speak with our students. We have other problems, not this one, but when we are talking about this, we are trying to tell them that it's not the only way of understanding Islam, it's one modern way of understanding Islam, and there are many other ways of understanding Islam. Thank you. Uh, uh, Mrs. Lovas, very quick, please. I will be extremely quick. So, thank you for the question. Um, so, the Spanish case in Washington, why they are because uh, the crime of Washington is three times bigger than average of the whole United States. Um, there were around 120 people in commission who were observed in different factors. Uh, they were from all over the world, so there were some people from science, also criminologists, and so on. And they, as in the uh, head of the uh, police department of the state of Washington, said that only a bad weather can, can uh, help with the crime. The weather was good, those factors were also included. And um, um, what else? So yeah, so what they were, the assumption was that it will be good because of the springtime field. So if there is a good vibration, let's say, which comes from the transcendental meditation, the one they have used during the experiment, and uh, quantum physicists, so from one side, transcendental meditation say we can do a good vibration by relaxing when we are many, and from the other side, the quantum physicist, uh, John Hagen, he said, okay, so if there is a quantum field of consciousness all around, so this might influence also the consciousness of people who are kind of in this area or who are influenced by that. So they predicted maybe just 20% of job, there was a triple 3%, and there are plenty of books and articles on the internet, and they're good bigger than this one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, we are end of our, our session. I would like to thank you, and just as a, as a uh, summarizing from the first session, second session, I agree that it's a uh, very good uh, platform which will bring us together to discuss at least to listen to the, um, uh, to the other perspective. Uh, in all religion, we have found that there are more in common than only five or six or ten percent. We have differences, and unfortunately, we are, uh, we are fighting for these uh, uh, differences. Acceptance is one of the uh, key messages we have to take with us. Thank you uh, from our friends from the uh, Union. Uh, dialogue was also very important. Education was taught a lot, but I, I would call, call it education to change the mindset. Because if you would talk about the education in the Second World War, we have seen that people in the Western, Western Europe were highly uh, educated, and yet we have seen, unfortunately, that Holocaust. So education, uh, we are what we are very much propagating is that uh, humanity should be taught at the school level in order to understand the differences and acceptance of each other. Uh, with that, I will hand over uh, this session to, to Mr. Peter Hagar. He has the last word to say, and I will take that opportunity to thank all my uh, colleagues.
speakers and also for your uh, patience. Thank you very much. So, I do not really have the last, last words to say. I think that we can, but the last words would be a song. And we have a special singer, entertainer, composer, and producer of songs here with us. His name is Jürgen Solis. Please come here. He's a cold man. He comes from, he will uh, introduce himself more, but he comes from Burgenland. Yeah? So, and, but he not just comes from Burgenland, he was invited to Las Vegas to be Austria's representative at the Romy World Awards, I think two or three years ago, yeah, Music Awards. Five years ago, 2015, Romy World Music Awards. Yeah. And he sang this song, We Are One, which is inspired from the Maya word, La Ke A La Kin, he will, anyway, he will see it. And uh, yeah, so we are looking forward and this We Are One, I think, is a good finale to our today's conference, Interface Harmony Week. So 